myelodysplastic plastic syndromes, a commonly tested topic in the MRCP exam, yet frequently answered incorrectly. I am Dr. Yusuf Hamed, MRCP tutor, and in this video, I simplify MDS into clear structured concepts. So by the end of this video, you will be confident in recognizing, understanding, and answering any MDS related exam question. Let's begin by breaking down the name itself. Myelodysplastic syndromes. Myelo refers to the bone marrow, which is the site of blood cell formation. Dysplastic means abnormal development or maturation. So, MDS are a group of disorders where the bone marrow produces blood cells abnormally. They are poorly formed and often die early. MDS refers to a group of acquired clonal bone marrow disorders characterized by ineffective hematopoiesis, leading to cytopenias and a risk of progression to acute myeloid leukemia. In MDS, the bone marrow becomes abnormal due to genetic or chromosomal mutations, most commonly affecting chromosome 5. These mutated stem cells form a clonal population that suppresses healthy stem cells. Early in the disease, this leads to increased apoptosis, so cells die before entering the bloodstream. Later, if MDS progresses to leukemia, leukemic clones grow uncontrollably, crowding out normal cells. MDS can be primary or secondary. Primary MDS accounts for about 80% of cases. Most patients have at least one genetic mutation, and the most common cytogenetic abnormality is deletion of chromosome 5 or DEL5Q, which is associated with a lower risk of progression to AML. Secondary MDS occurs after chemotherapy, radiotherapy, or exposure to toxins like benzene or tobacco smoke. It usually has a poorer prognosis and a higher risk of transformation to AML. MDS may also be linked to autoimmune diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis. MDS may present with symptoms related to cytopenias. Anemia is common, causing fatigue and often requiring transfusion. Low platelets may lead to petechiae and mucosal bleeding. Low white cells can cause recurrent infections. Approximately 30% of MDS patients progress to AML, and transformation carries a poorer prognosis than de novo AML. Cytopenia may be single, bilineage, or pancytopenia, depending on disease stage. WHO thresholds include hemoglobin below 100 grams per liter, ANC less than 1.8, and platelets below 100. Peripheral smear may show macrocytosis, hypogranular neutrophils with hyposegmentation, and abnormal platelet morphology. A dimorphic picture may be seen. The marrow usually contains fewer than 20% blasts, but over 10% dysplastic cells. RBC precursors may show nuclear cytoplasmic asynchrony and ringed sideroblasts on pearl stain. Micromegakaryocytes are a specific feature. Certain mutations are highly specific for MDS and sufficient for diagnosis with cytopenia, even if dysplasia is absent. These include SF3B1 mutation with VAF over 10%, isolated DEL5Q or DEL5Q with one additional abnormality except minus 7 or DEL7Q. Some changes like trisomy 8, DELY, and DEL20Q are associated with MDS, but not diagnostic without dysplasia. Certain chromosomal rearrangements indicate AML and exclude MDS. These include T8 semicolon 21, ENV 16, and T15 semicolon 17, which defines acute promyelocytic leukemia. Poor prognosis markers include high blast percentage, severe cytopenias, complex karyotypes, TP53 mutations, and absence of ring sideroblasts. Good prognosis markers include low blast percentage, mild cytopenias, isolated DEL5Q, SF3B1 mutation, presence of ring sideroblasts, and single lineage dysplasia. 
Supportive care includes red cell and platelet transfusions, antibiotics for infections, and iron chelation for transfusion-induced overload. Erythropoiesis-stimulating agents are first-line in low to intermediate-risk MDS with symptomatic anemia. GCSF may be added, especially if ring sideroblasts are present. Lenalidomide is used in isolated deletion, 5Q myelodysplastic syndrome, and can achieve transfusion independence. Azacitidine is the main hypomethylating agent in the UK, approved for higher risk MDS to prolong survival and delay AML progression. Allogeneic stem cell transplantation is the only curative option. It is considered in younger fit patients with intermediate to high risk MDS. Final takeaway, MRCP, key point, myelodysplastic syndromes should be suspected in any patient with unexplained cytopenias and macrocytic anemia, especially in the elderly. Chromosome 5 is the most commonly affected, with deletion of chromosome 5 being the most frequent cytogenetic abnormality. Cytopenias result primarily from increased apoptosis of dysplastic hematopoietic cells. Diagnosis depends on identifying dysplasia in one or more cell lines or detecting MDS-defining cytogenetic mutations, such as SF3B1 or isolated DEL5Q. The bone marrow typically contains fewer than 20% blasts, but more than 10% dysplastic cells. Always remember, Transformation to acute myeloid leukemia is the key risk, occurring in approximately 30% of cases. Treatment spans from supportive care and erythropoiesis stimulating agents in low risk disease to lenalidomide for DEL 5Q and hypomethylating agents like azacitidine in higher risk disease. Allogeneic stem cell transplantation remains the only curative option.